at JDM of California, guys, and we just picked up the ECU that we needed. Super huge shout out to David. I, I love David with all my heart, and he came through once again. The other ECU that we had, like I said, was immobilized, so it, there is a way to do it, but just we couldn't do it. Um, I know David did think we were going with Haltech or a standalone ECU. That's why he didn't give me this ECU. But um, yeah, Halt, like I said, Haltech was one of the companies that ended up like just not being able to pull through with the sponsorship, which it is what it is. But we are good to go with this bad boy. Now we can go hit up Henry literally tomorrow because I just got back from the track as you guys saw from the last vlog. So tomorrow we're going to be hitting up Henry as a Kusek and Canoe. And we're gonna be ripping the Jay-Z apart, starting it up and getting ready to throw it into the 350Z. So tomorrow is gonna be a very, very, very important day and I'm super excited, guys. Alrighty, guys, we just showed up to Zacoustic. We have Henry back there fabricating some stuff for this. I'm just playing, he has them fabricate anything. Yeah, and we have Canoe here. Finally, we show Canoe. Today, we're gonna start tearing apart the entire engine to basically delete everything we don't need. Um, Canoe's gonna remove the, the manifolds right now so I can actually spray paint them. I got some supplies from O'Reilly's to make this at least look a little bit nicer. Like I said, we are on a time crunch already, so I wanted to powder coat all of these nice things. I'm just not gonna have time. So that's basically what Canoe's gonna start doing right now. We have a bunch of tubs and everything, and like I said, we finally got the ECU that we actually needed for the 1J. Shout out to David, we got that yesterday. Today we're actually gonna turn on the 1J to make sure it actually starts up and it turns on so we don't just completely build a 1j that doesn't even end up working um like i said i really do trust david and everything um but we just going to take precautionary um i guess lines to make sure that we don't build an engine that doesn't end up running either way through jdm california they always give you a 30-day warranty so i do i guess kind of like suggest that you guys do try and start your engine within those 30 days because if it is bad then david will take care of you guys um, but that's what we're going to start doing right now Alrighty guys, and just like that, Canoe has started stripping this whole mother effort down. We got the wiring harness completely off, and that's what I was telling you guys, this wire specialties harness is gonna replace a lot of the crap that you don't need on here and make it look presentable. We also have the covers off, which I'm gonna start sanding right now, and at least making them look decently since we don't have time for powder coating, but look at this, guys. <laughs> Yo, this is cooked in here. I don't know when the last time they did an oil change in here, but it's been a while, so. Yeah, we got to make that look ready, bro.
right, guys, update on what's going on. Somehow, Henry and Canoe have convinced me that we need to not do this setup. We gotta do a full top mount setup. Honestly, I'm playing, guys. But what we end up looking is that this turbo is a little loose. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's not good. That shows that there's play inside of here on the turbo. So we're a little worried now that <laughs> that turbo's on its way out. And if we do this, we might end up just basically blowing my turbo while I'm out there driving around because you guys know I can't control myself. So we're looking at a couple of different options for a top mount setup on the 1J. The only thing is, since we don't have hull tech, we need to see what a stock ECU can actually hold power wise because I don't have time to get this car actually tuned. So it's, uh, it's, it's getting a little stressful right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a parts run real fast to get the transmission that uh, bolts that we need to get this engine and trans up there. And then I'm gonna go get some other stuff that I need to be able to finish cleaning the manifolds um, and basically do that. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, but yeah, uh, this, this, this car is definitely, well, this engine was definitely uh, needing a lot of TLC, man. Canoe basically has the entire engine stripped down. He's removing the transmission right now to basically be able to start throwing all the good stuff in there. While we do all that, you guys, <laughs> I told you, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just full send it. We're balling on a budget. We're going to CX Racing right now to go pick up uh, a new turbo and a uh, turbo manifold. So we're literally about to head out there right now, get all that good stuff and come back as soon as possible so we can just really get everything on the go. Dude, this, this episode is insane, guys. So I guess now you'll be able to see I mean, if you want to upgrade your, your 1J, you know, like we weren't planning on upgrading anything until after SEMA, um, but we're just full sending it now. Um, and if, I mean, yeah, CX racing isn't super bad, but if you have more money, I would definitely go with Precision Turbo or like a Garrett or anything like that. Sheesh! Guys, we just got back from CX racing and shout out to CX racing because they had basically what we needed in stock I drove my happy butt all the way down there. And now, instead of going bottom mount, we are going top mount turbo on the 1J. This is pretty insane and this looks pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. The biggest thing, guys, like I told you, there's not a lot of forms or videos or basically any information as to what works and what doesn't work for a 1J to 350Z swap. The biggest thing is, uh, well, we don't have a 350 in here, like is the firewalls and the sidewalls on the Z um they're, they're really close it's kind of weird to show you guys because we don't have the z here but it's really close and what we're scared of is that this might hit like that wall on the engine bay and not allow anything to fit so we're running a cx racing uh manifold and we're going to see if this hits or not we also have the turbo right here so i'll go ahead and leave a link to exactly what i bought and if it works then you guys can go ahead and snag the same stuff, but also look at Canoe. He's been putting in work. The whole engine is basically torn down now. It's <laughs> literally looking crazy right now. We have the stock automatic uh, transmission off and we have my CD over here. So yeah, I mean, we've done, well, I'm not gonna say we, Canoe <laughs> has done a lot today. Damn. At least you guys can now see what this setup is gonna look like. We're just test fitting it all. Obviously we gotta still move some stuff around. The turbo's not gonna be facing the engine like that, but dude, this looks insane. Dude, I'm kinda happy you guys told me to do this. The other thing too is, uh, who was the tuner that we that you guys spoke to? Jason. Jason from Unrivaled Tuning, right? Yeah, Rival Auto Works. Jason from Rival Auto Works. So basic, okay, so let me rewind back to the beginning of this vlog. The biggest thing we were scared about is since we are running stock ECU, you can't really upgrade a lot of the stock stuff because we aren't gonna have time to tune it. So we spoke to Jason from Rival and he basically said, as long as we don't go over 14 pounds of boost, right? As long as you don't go over 14 pounds of boost on a 1J, your stock ECU should be able to read the air to fuel ratio mixes, right? So that is basically what we're doing we have a small baby turbo on here for right now. We will eventually upgrade this to something bigger, but since we're running the OEM 
um, ECU. We can't go any crazy turbo. We can't go any crazy power because we won't have a running car. So that's basically why we are running this setup with this turbo mount. And we're just gonna go for it. Once we come back, we can actually tune in and have stuff run correctly. And hopefully after SEMA, we hopefully get like maybe some kind of turbo sponsorship. And then we can probably put a pretty badass turbo on there. But for right now, guys, I'm just excited. Look how sick that looks. At the beginning of this vlog, I definitely didn't expect to have a 1J looking like this, but here we are, some performance upgrades for the 1J. All right guys, day one of working on the engine is basically a wrap, canoe put in work. I've told you guys so many times, I put canoe on my videos so many times, I tell you guys to hit him up, canoe literally knows what he's doing. Wiring, engine work, not only just that, but like suspension work, like honestly anything that your car needs, canoe can do. So just hit him up. We'll leave the Instagram bio and everything on the description of this video. But we ended up taking the turbo off the 1J because we're actually going to upgrade it to one size bigger. What, what size are we going to go to? Uh, DT3576 r is what we're going to be running. Just one size bigger. Um, we kind of went through the forms and saw that we can run just one size bigger without completely blowing up the ECU and it ha not knowing what it's doing. So that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. But what do you guys think, dude? This looks insane. A complete transformation today. At the beginning of this video, this engine looked like trash. We weren't even gonna run a top mount and now look at this. We spray painted everything down and this color looks sick. Uh, canoe's gonna take this cover and we're gonna actually chrome this whole thing so it's gonna look even better. We spray painted that black too. There's still some things that we need to clean up, but man, night and day difference. Alrighty guys, we're back. It's the next day. We just got back from CX Racing. We picked up the new bigger turbo. So we got this bad boy, but with this, we have to come back to JMD and pick up a couple more supplies um, for the 1J. But like I told you guys, we are gonna get everything, all of our supplies from JMD. So make sure you guys hit them up. Use the code that I'm leaving at the bottom of the description and you'll get a slight percentage off. I make no money from this, but you guys save money on anything you guys might need from exhaust to flanges to intercooler piping anything you might need so let me go pick up what we need from jmd real quick and then let's head over to henry and we have officially shown back up to the shop guys we have everything laid out on the table that we're going to use for the swab look at this action clutch uh stage two clutch aluminum flywheel um the adapter plate for the j to cd09 transmission mount complete wiring harness i still got to paint this bad boy the new bigger turbo guys this is way bigger than what we had yesterday i'm excited for this and canoe already started wiring some stuff up we gotta weld some shit on here we got a lot of work still to do so i'm gonna get straight to it guys. just to let you guys know as well what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna actually be putting all the switches to toggle everything on for the car right underneath the ac cluster so that's literally what henry's about to do right now it's getting nitty gritty boys just like that guys we got the new turbo on dude this thing is way bigger than what we had yesterday and it's aluminum so it's shiny it's looking good we still got to get this chrome but canoe's gonna take this to the guy so this is gonna look really nice i really like the blue silver spray that we hit with some chrome and shininess bro now we're starting to look like a real sema project now we're looking like real sema boys that's insane guys in two days literally we have transformed this entire engine Jeez. All right, guys, Henry is about to start working on everything. And look at this. We're even going to have a push to start, baby. Sick. Let's go. Yo, look at Henry. He's so proud of what he did. <laughs> He's so, dude, this looks so sick, guys. 
look at this once it's all wired up and actually running correctly this is gonna look bad ass yo sick we also just got back from g and j uh we picked up all of the lines and fittings that we're gonna need to basically basically run all the oil lines um the fuel lines and everything on the 1j guys i did not know that these were so expensive just for these lines and a couple fittings they came out to over 600 dollars rip guys but i wanted to build a sema 1j here we go and we just threw on the inner intake manifold and the reason why we painted you can still technically see this through the engine so if we didn't spray paint this it was honestly going to look just really crusty and dusty at least now it'll match everything else we have the top part of the manifold right here and since we ended up hitting with the wire brush we low-key scratched up a couple pieces on here so we're going to redo uh these little pieces right here and then we'll be solid and while i finished spray painting that basically canoe and henry are getting the fuel pressure regulator and throwing it onto the actual this is where the regular is going to go or did no. you just throw that off no that's going to go to the mat so it's right Oh, you guys are going to make a bracket for it? We're right. going to throw the... Oh, that is a fuel pressure regulator. Yep. We're going to throw that onto the engine. So that's what Henry and Canoe are going to do while I finish spraying down the little pieces. They're like, Paul, please do not touch anything 1J related. We want the engine to actually make it to SEMA. <laughs> Henry weld that on the wastegate is actually on the header now dude that looks badass we're gonna get a lot of cool noises out here what do you guys think should we do a dump from here coming out into the hood Sheesh. that's sick though guys this is crazy because literally at the be yesterday we did not think we were gonna do this and now today we have a full top mount wastegate bigger turbo that's insane guys and we are officially done for today guys we honestly did so much and by me by we henry and canoe did so much on the jay-z this these last two days it literally looks night and day check this out God, guys it is a completely different engine from where we had a couple of days ago today we finally installed all the well almost everything but we did the oil lines that we picked up today the new bigger turbos on uh henry welded on the wastegate we have the headers on we finally finished painting the entire valve cover manifold and everything um henry did weld and make some brackets for the fuel filter as well as the fuel pressure regulator um we still got to go back and get a little fitting right here so we can actually put the actual gauge on here so we can see what the fuel pressure is but all in all guys this thing looks insane it is damn near ready to just basically slap the whole wiring specialties harness on um and then basically get it ready for the 350z and this looks like insane um the cool thing about the wire specialties harness is that it's basically going to get rid of all the excess and ugly wires that we don't need and it's going to be tucked away so you won't see a lot of the wire harness at all um it does come coated but honestly for me i don't really know what i'm looking at when i see any of those things so i try and stay away from that we do have a lot of the things over here but this is going to wait until we come back monday to actually throw the flywheel the collins adapter kit and the actual clutch onto the car onto the engine but man we are literally just a couple steps away from being able to throw out the vq from the 350z and throw the 1j in and i didn't know what do you guys think of the engine it looks insane i need you guys to leave a big thumbs up on the video and drop a comment shout out to henry and the boys as well and canoe 
for basically literally within a couple of weeks just getting down and dirty and starting to work on the 1J. Look how proud Henry is of what he's built. Dude, this guy's no! so crazy, yeah, bro. <laughs> this guy's so crazy. All he did was weld a couple brackets on. He's so proud of it. I want this in my car, that's right. <laughs> but that is it for today's episode. We put some performance parts on the 1J, threw on a wire specialties harness. It is almost ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a big thumbs up and drop a comment. Till next time, peace.